Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm gonna do a vase and bowl set today and a matching painting to go with it. This is a gift from my brother. He likes green, blue, black and white kind of thing. So I'm gonna do just that. So I'm gonna just show you my setup here. It's kind of complicated maybe. Here, here's the colors I'm using. This is a, a brilliant blue. Titanium White by Montmartre, it's a Black by Montmartre, Aqua Green by Montmartre. This is a Cobalt, a Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft, and this is Cerulean Blue by Montmartre. Um, so they all, except for the Black and White, have a little bit of iridescent pore medium in them. Except, well, not this one either because it's already metallic. <laughs> so I guess just the... These three, <laughs> I added some of that to it. Because I like shimmery, and I put resin on bases. So it just makes it look so much better in the light. So I'm just going to move these out of the way and uh, show you my setup. So I have a canvas here, level three gallery wrapped. It is a 12 by 24, 18, 18 by 24, 18 by 24. I have it sitting on top of, well, it's on a spinner. I'm not going to spin it. It's just to help me turn it so I can easily see all the sides to make sure it's covered. And this is just a, a big cutting board a friend gave me and the plastic's still on it. So I just left it there because then it won't be so wrecked. So I just set that on top of there. And now the vases I have, I only had these straight ones. So, but it's okay. And I have this bowl. And I got all this from Bellarama too. And the only prep, like you don't need to do prime it or anything like that because you're going to cover it with resin to seal it anyway. Just make sure it's clean and get the sticker off the bottom because Bellarama likes to do that. Um, so then basically you need to elevate it off the canvas because you're going to put putting it upside down and letting the paint pour over it and then it needs to run off the edges. Or the, otherwise it's just going to glue itself to whatever surface it's on. So I am using... For the bowl, I just have this empty jug that works, and then you just set it there and set the bowl on top. Um, and then the vases, I have paper towel rolls holders that I got from Dollarama too. I mean, I usually have paper towel on them, but. And then the only issue with these is they kind of, it's kind of like, you know, like wobbly like that. So I just took, I mean, you can, I've heard of people using pool noodles and all kinds of things, but I just took like a few pieces of paper towel, just ball it up and shove it on there like that and it'll help keep it straight. We'll get these all on here, reasonably straight. Okay, and then whatever paint runs off of there, I'm going to tilt around the canvas and make a painting out of that too. Okay, so I'm gonna use a split cup. It, it, likes, it, it helps to keep everything nice and separate. This is, it's all dry, so it's good to use. There's six slots, so I can use six colors. So I'm gonna totally take advantage of that and I showed you those six I had. Um, so I'm going to fill these up. I think I'm gonna make, give myself some room here. And then um, I'm just gonna keep refilling it as it empties. I don't, I'm pretty sure that this little bit of paint here isn't gonna be enough to do all of this. Um, and so I have more paint over here to the side. I'm gonna probably speed that part up. You don't need to see me layer it like a billion times. It's gonna be the exact same way. Um, so I'm gonna try to do light, dark, light, dark throughout this, but I don't want my white and my black to be touching each other because I don't want gray and it could, it could. It, it, it should keep it pretty separate, but. Um. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these right up to the top. And um, like I said, as it as they empty, I'm just gonna refill it. And I'll just speed that part of the, the video up. Now I will mention, um, I got well I got this cup on Etsy. 
it was way overpriced and I couldn't find it anywhere else. I'm not sure if you can meet I'm in Canada, so I don't know, Amazon.com might have them. And I know you can get the other one, like other cups. I got a few here that are, uh, these were a gift actually. But there's a there's five slots, four slots, three, whatever. I, I wanted this one because it had six. And I didn't know where else to get it. I think I paid like 50 bucks for it or something with the shipping, it's crazy. Um, but you just gotta be careful because it's it's hard plastic, but when you if you wash this with hot water, it will kind of soften your, like the, the plastic, I don't know what they're called, the dividers, and bend them. So like this one's kind of bent. Just keep that in mind if you're gonna wash it to don't use really hot water. And definitely don't put that in your dishwasher. So I'm gonna set this up here again. I'm gonna try to keep them closer to the middle because I don't want the paint to just run off the side before I get a chance to tilt it around and use it. All right, so I am going to start here. Right. I always start going around the outside a little bit just to get that coated. with a kind of a weird looking spot in the bottom you can tilt a little bit and pour a little bit off and that will fix up the bottom and it also helps if you just got a tiny little spot that's not covered This one, but it's not covered that well. I'm just gonna add a little more to it. Now you really can't judge how they look when you first do them because they keep running and running and running for a long time. So I'm gonna let those sit and drip for like 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna move them out of the way and I'm gonna tilt the canvas around and make something nice with that. Let's get rid of some of that extra. Okay, I'm gonna move these carefully out of the way. I'm just gonna put them right here and they can sit there for a couple weeks until I'm ready to resin them. Now, if you're doing this and you accidentally touch the bottom, it's okay, because it's gonna keep running for quite a while and it will just, your fingerprints will be gone. And they're gonna look completely different tomorrow, I bet. I'm actually tempted to, to kind of do a ribbon through there and see if that will look good. Never tried that before. Who knows? <laughs> so what I like to do with this cup is tip it upside down on top of another cup, just like a plastic cup, and just let it sit there, and then that will keep running overnight too and get most of that out. Now to tilt this. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of white around here to help it flow. Some of it stays, it's okay. pretty neat isn't it I know I think I like it I think I like it that is pretty neat okay Let's set some cups here there we go okay I'm just gonna run a paint knife under the edge just get those drips off I wish I could torch it, but I don't think I can. I think my torch is, something's wrong with it. Something's wrong with it. I tried to torch something earlier and it caught on fire. I'm gonna, yeah, see like, I made some cool cells though. I'm gonna leave it. This is looking really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down for a look. Here we go. This is probably not the angle I would put it up. Probably more like I can get over here this way, I think. This is cool, though. I love how these turn out, like the, the just the drippings. Kind of looks illuminated, doesn't it? What do you think of the little ribbon I did there? I don't know, maybe add some character. Here's the other angle. And here are the beautiful pieces. These will change completely by tomorrow, I'm sure. We'll straighten out. I'm really liking these cells that are showing up on this. That's pretty neat. I haven't had that happen before. Colors work really well. So yeah, I'll let these dry for a couple weeks and then I'll put resin on. I'm using magic resin here. I normally use art resin and I do have a full tutorial on that. I'll put the link in the description, but it's mixed the same with one to one. Um, it cures or dries in 24 hours and cures in 72. And this tape that I have here is actually left like up a little above the painting. So it makes a little dam. So it's helping me get the resin all the way to the edges. And then um, I'll take that off after it's been sitting there for about half an hour and then it'll, it'll just smooth then over the side. Um, so you put the resin on and you got to get all the bubbles out. So I usually use a blowtorch or any torch for that. It takes a while. You got to go over the whole thing, like make sure you look at it a bunch of times and make sure there's nothing falling in it and all that stuff. So just be really careful, but you can check out my, my tutorial in the description if you want. So here's where I had a little trouble. I'm not sure what happened if I mixed up too big of a batch, if I heated it too much. I normally let the the buckets of it or the jugs of it sit in a, a bucket of hot water to warm it first it just makes it easier to mix I don't know if it was too much or what but after I did the first painting this stuff you can see right here it got really hot like I couldn't even touch it and if you look really close you can see it's steaming like I have no idea I'm gonna contact magic resin and see if they've ever had this problem before it was weird and it just cured instantly. Like it just hardened over it. Like, like as if you poured wax and you know how wax dries and how it forms. Like it just looks like wax stuck on there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I had to redo it. I just did it. I just poured right over it and it just kind of gave it some texture. So I just mixed up a new batch and, and kept on going. You can see right here, all the resin I had in that ice cream container is completely solid. It just hardened within minutes. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll show you here, because um, I don't have this in my tutorial. I waited about a half hour 
maybe not even with this one because it was hardening so fast and I just pulled that tape off and run my finger up the edge to smooth it out and it gave it a beautiful finish and then I just poured new resin that I mixed up in smaller batches and just finished off the um the vases and bowl and then I just continued on with that the same as I normally would. Alright, it's all finished. So, um, the resin was it's pretty interesting. Um, I've never had that happen before. I don't know if you could tell that it, it got like super hot. Like, it just instantly cured on top of the vase and I had to <laughs> mix up more because the whole container I had just hardened. I, I don't know if it was too hot or what, but I'm going to write the company and, and see about that. But um, so I poured over it again and it actually gave it some texture. So it looks like kind of like it just kind of bumpy and it's actually really, really nice. I like it. Just gives it, just gives it a little bit of extra kind of manly and the two of them turned out really nice. The colors are gorgeous. You can see all this, all the sparkle. The, um, the dark blue seemed to wash away, seemed to be covered. You can tell in the bowl, actually. Um, there's little bits of it, which is really nice. But look inside. Can you see in there? How much of that really dark blue showed up? It's pretty sweet. So again, the same thing with the bowl. The, the resin just hardened. I mean, the bowl has texture anyway, but it just gave a little more, which is pretty interesting. And then the painting itself turned out amazing. I love it. It looks like a storm of some sort. I thought this way was the best way. Maybe, I think, I think this was the best. What do you think? So you can let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.